My wife says I shouldn't use big words that I don't understand. <laughs> but I only do it to sound more photosynthesis. What is going on everybody? In today's video we're going to have some fun and uh, do another little experiment like we did with the 99 Silverado that we own. Uh, I'm going to take the stock muffler that came off of my old 1999 GMC Yukon. I no longer own that vehicle. We took it off to the uh, salvage yard and uh, got rid of it. Hello darkness my old friend I've come to talk with you again well, it was a nice truck when we had it, but we felt like it was time to get rid of it and we replaced it with this Chevy Trailblazer. We've got a ton of videos on this uh, new Trailblazer, so check them out on my channel. Well, today we're going to cut open this stock trash can size muffler from my GMC Yukon and see what the inside is built like. I have a feeling it's going to look a lot like the 99 Silverado, but we're not going to know unless we cut this bad boy open. So I'm going to use a metal cutting wheel to cut this baby open, but I've got to go up to the shop to get it. In fact, we're going to do the work up there and work in the shade because it's pretty hot today. So let's go to the shop. So I've got my angle grinder. I took the wheel that was on it off. This is a metal cutting wheel that I got at Walmart for like two dollars. Hopefully this works. Here's a little spacer. Put it on there. Push this little button right here to lock the. There we go. Locks the wheel so we can tighten it. It's on there. All right, we're ready for surgery. Okay, I'm looking at this muffler and I see that there's some indentations right here. I'm assuming these are the chambers. So there might be a very small chamber here, chamber here, here, and here. So I'll kind of keep that in mind when I start cutting. So we're gonna go ahead and get started on this. I got my glasses on, safety glasses, so here goes nothing. All right, so I've cut down the length of each side with that El Cheapo cutting wheel. So good to good. I need to roll over the top of a couple of cuts, but it's gonna be hard to do when that's all that's left of the cutting wheel. Unreal. Well, since we made quick work of that other cutting wheel, I put the one that was on here originally. I think this is a masonry cutting wheel. Oh well, we're gonna use it for the muffler. I got the panels cut. I uh, ended up going with the nibbler like I did with my Silverado muffler. Uh, that metal cutting wheel did a fantastic job, but since it was such an El Cheapo, it uh, disintegrated pretty quickly. So I went ahead and just used the nibbler to get the rest of the panels out. So here's the reveal. Oh, 
Okay. Yeah, that looks uh, virtually identical to the way the Silverado was built. The dual pipes are the inlet to the muffler. There's no Y pipe on the 99 GMC Yukon. Exhaust fumes, exhaust noise goes into this little chamber here. This narrow chamber, I believe that's what takes care of the low end noise, like the low rumble uh, at idle. Step on the gas, that fills that up and it goes into this bigger chamber. You got some destructive interference with the sound waves here. Um, let's see, where's it go from there? Okay, so this tube here below, once this cavity fills and goes into here and this fills up, there's no exit on this cavity right here other than these two pipes. So once all that chamber fills up, then it goes into this lower tube right here into this very small cavity. And once it gets in that little cavity, the exhaust comes down and then that goes to the tailpipe. So pretty interesting. It's definitely a lot smaller than the Silverado. But let me grab the Silverado's muffler and we'll set them side by side and we'll compare. Okay, setting side by side, this is the Silverado muffler. Again, the Yukon muffler. This is the inlet side of the muffler. So the exhaust goes into a small chamber just like the other one, into a bigger chamber, and it reverse flows to this small chamber and it exits. So it's very similar in design. There's one big hole right here about this big in this chamber. There are four, oh, less than a dime sized holes in this panel instead of one big one. So that's a, that's a difference. This just has four little holes, whereas this has two large pipes. This lower pipe is inside of this small chamber, whereas this lower pipe is actually in the bigger chamber. So it's similar in design, but uh, there are enough differences that uh, it's really interesting. And both do a fantastic job, obviously. Stock mufflers do a good job of really reducing exhaust noise. So I can tell you one thing, there's a whole lot of science going on right here. Science rules. All right, here's a closer look. The dual inlet, got four pipes in this chamber. The top two feed the small chamber. These two create a pathway to the larger chamber. There's no hole other than these two pipes right here. This middle chamber, that lower pipe, takes it to this very, very small chamber. And then it ends up circling around and goes out the exit tube. All right, one more thing I just noticed. The inside of the wall of this chamber right here has a bulge in it. It's it's curved on both sides. I don't know how well that shows up on camera, but you can see that it's curved. Curve there and curve there. Very interesting. Well, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing what's on the inside of a stock muffler for a GMC Yukon. I don't know about you guys. I really enjoy cutting things open like this and seeing how stuff's engineered. It fascinates me. So hopefully it does to you too. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Um, if you expected it to be designed differently on the inside, just leave a comment below. I'd like to hear what you guys think. Stay tuned. I've got a stock Camaro muffler that I took off of my 97 V6 Camaro. It's a much different looking uh, muffler, so I'm curious to see how that's designed on the inside. So we're going to cut that Camaro muffler open at a later date, so stay tuned for that. As always, thanks for watching. God bless. See you next time.